Hi, First Baptist. I'm glad to talk to you in this very difficult week for the people of our region. You're watching television just like I am. You're seeing pictures on social media of homes and villages and communities that are devastated. We watched with uh, just great anxiety as those people were airlifted out of the hospital over in Irwin. You also saw the news of people uh, who may be lost maybe you've lost their lives over in that region as well as down in Greene County and Cott County and all over Western North Carolina. This is one of those chances for Christians to be the hands and feet of Christ to people who are in desperate need. You probably received an email from us on Tuesday about goods to bring to the church on Wednesday and we'll be delivering those today to the First Baptist Church of Jonesboro for them to distribute people in their region who've been cut off from civilization because of bridges that are out. And I know the pastor over there and he's a fine guy and he'll do his best to exercise diligence to make sure that all of those materials go to people in desperate need. Also, there's a, a list that you can take to the Kingsport Chamber of Commerce down on Clinchfield and you'll see it on this screen. So we'll be, our missions committee will be meeting on Wednesday night. You'll see this on Thursday. But on Wednesday night, we'll be talking about allocation of some of our missions dollars to some people in disaster relief. And on Friday, tomorrow, I'm going to be on a regional Zoom call for about an hour and a half to learn of other needs. This, as you know, is going to be a long-term recovery project for the people of our region. There are going to be opportunities for us to help for weeks and months to come. The most important thing we can do, of course, is to be like Jesus right now and to help people in need, and I know you're going to do that. And we'll try to give you the best possible avenues to do that. We're going to gather on Sunday. Last Sunday we gathered for worship. Several new people joined our congregation. We had an improvisational picnic in the fellowship hall because Warrior's Path was without power. This Sunday we'll come back together in both services on Sunday morning as well as in Sunday school, and we're going to talk about what it's like to live like Jesus in really difficult times. Last week we looked at some ethical issues that Christians face. This week we'll look at how do we deal with the changes in our culture. I think if you've lived as long as I have, you've seen some incredible changes, some wonderful and some rather dreadful. So we'll talk about how to deal with those when we gather on Sunday. In the meantime, I know you're joining me in praying for those rescue workers all across Northeast Tennessee and Western North Carolina. We're praying for those people who still haven't been found yet, that they'll be found safe and healthy. So let's join together as we pray as, uh, for the EMS workers, for everybody who's working faithfully. Lord God, thank you for our region. Thank you for the people who live here. Now we pray for those who are struggling in ways that were unimaginable only a week ago. Help us to be your hands and your feet that we might carry the name of Jesus to those who are hurting. We pray through his power. Amen.